Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Back with the video. Um, this video, of course, is going to be an application of two different software-defined video platforms, uh, HackRF and RTL SDR Dongle. And two different softwares that I'm using in this video is SDR Angel, this one, and I have Universal Radio Hacker, which is this one. So these are the two softwares that I'm going to use to demonstrate something. All right, what is it that I'm about to demonstrate is this that I'll, uh, the cool thing about Universal Radio Hacker is that you can receive a signal and you can analyze the protocol, you can sniff the protocol and you can find out what are the bits which are there and then you can do post analysis of those bits. So what I'm going to do now uh, using SDR Angel which is going to be my transmitting platform that would be controlling my hack RF that is connected to my laptop. All right, and Universal Radio Hacker that is connected, that gonna depict. I mean, uh, it's gonna receive a signal from my RTL SDR dongle, which is also connected to my laptop. All right, so Universal Radio Hacker uh, is gonna take signals, incoming signals from my RTL SDR dongle, which is connected, and SDR Angel will be the guy who's going to transmit a signal from my hack RF. So from my hack RF, I'm gonna transmit a signal. And it's going to receive by my RTL SDR dongle. And we're going to visualize that receive signal using Universal Radio Hacker. The cool thing about Universal Radio Hacker is that I'll be able to actually sniff and see what are the bits that are coming in. So the first setup that I need to do, simply go here, add a transmitting device. So add a transmitting device. I'm going to hit here. I'll come up with this window. I'm going to do uh, this and I'm going to choose my hack RF. Okay, once I select my hack, hack RF, this window will pop up. I'm going to leave this to be 435 megahertz. I can transmit at any frequency I want, but I'm going to transmit this at 435 megahertz. Let me just make this window a little bit bigger. Let me just increase this gain a little bit. All right, so we're good to go. Now, the next thing is this. Go to my Universal Radio Hacker software, go to File, and then go to Sniff Protocol. All right, it comes with another screen. Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, let's, let's bring it up again. So File, Sniff Protocol. Okay, this is the screen. I'm going to minimize this. And what I'm going to do, let's do it on my right-hand side. And let's bring this here. So this is this is what it looks like. So I'm going to choose a device. From here, I'm going to choose RTL SDR. And all right, this needs to go a little bit like this. So let me just choose this. Let me refresh this or reset it. It will automatically pick up, detect the connected SDR. I'm going to change this frequency to 4 and 35 megahertz. So I'm going to change this to 435 megahertz. And all right, and this thing has a SAMP rate. The dongle that I'm using, it has a SAMP rate of 2 mega. So I'm going to choose this SAMP rate to be 2 mega. And I think we're good to go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to my SDR angel. I'm going to make this as is. All right, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna, now, we're all good to go now. And from here, I'm gonna add a channel. What this add a channel will do, I think I already made a video on it. It allows me to uh, use, like for example, like a signal generator with like different modulation schemes for different applications. So everything is there, 802.15.4, AIS, and things like that. These are the modulated signal that I'll be transmitting it from my hack RF. So I'm going to choose 802.15.4 modulator. I'm going to choose this because I know this is going to be a, a digital signal modulator. And what I'm going to do, now if you look at it closely, I'm going to choose this to be 20 kilobits per second BPSK, binary phase shift key, where you only have two things, either 0 and 1, 0 and 1, 0 and 1. They are being modulated. So the SAMP rate is symbol rate is about you're transmitting one bit in each of the, those transition of your highs and lows. 
that's BPSK, the most common type of digital modulation schemes that is being used. And this is being used for 802.15.4. And what is it that I'll be transmitting? I'll be transmitting a data stream that looks 0101, a hexadecimal stream that I'll be transmitting it. And I'm going to keep playing it. So I'm going to turn on my repeatedly transmitted. So it's going to keep playing this frame again and again and again and again. And I'm going to transmit that at 435 megahertz. That's the first thing I'll do. Let me just zoom out from here. And, and I'm going to close this transmitter frames. We're just we're only interested in seeing the, the waveform. All right, I'm going to hit this to keep repeatedly playing this. And I'm going to hit play. Once you hit this transmit, is going to transmit, is going to put this uh, data stream onto 435 megahertz, and I'll be able to see it. So let's hit transmit. Now, as you can see, you have this data that is coming in in a form of a burst here. You can see that here, here. And now you can go to your uh, universal radio hacker. Everything is good to go. I know one thing that is going to be not FSK. I can change this to PSK, which is going to be phase shift keying. All I need to do after I set all of this up, change this to phase shift keying, and just hit a start button. Now what it will do, it will start sniffing that protocol. Now you got to understand this, that in order for me to use Universal Radio Hacker, I am actually... Uh, my 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 devices this is what is being transmitted and my device is actually connected to my RTLSDR dongle so it's actually capturing this live because i am transmitting it using my hack rf using sdr angel and then i'm receiving it on universal radio hacker using a sniff protocol and that is being received by my RTLSDR dongle. So this is actually happening live and 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 based on on that sniff protocol based on phase shift keying is it is actually showing me all of this data that is coming in and it should be a repeated data that that data is coming again and again and again and again because I'm just continuously transmitting it transmitting same data. Now, further, if you want to do further analysis of this, you can open up these. If you want to open up this, like for example, accept data and open an analysis tab, it will take you to another screen and you can do further analysis of that data. So, so that's the basic idea regarding this. And this is what I've been wanting to show you guys uh, because. The cool thing about Universal Radio Hacker is that you will be able to detect signals and you will be able to actually see what's going on. So so, so if you have any questions, you guys leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.